and just get all the knowledge he needs. The thing about Palutena is that he can go ham and get some quick stocks if he wants to and if mm -hmm. Muffin messes up enough, but he can also just take it slow and just take this time to get the download ready for the rest of the set. Yeah. One thing or Muffin could just take it. One thing I was telling Muffin earlier is like sometimes he holds leads and his biggest issue sometimes is that he doesn't hold his lead, he just runs with it. And it's like, dude, run away from your opponent. If you have a lead, your character by design, like you have Zer, PK Fire, you have so many good punish uh, options to just pun uh, get a whiff punish. You have a lead, man, just take it and run with it. Exactly. If you have the money, just take the money and run. Exactly. Ah, uh, that was good patience. Yeah. Look at those narrow loops right there. Jump steady not messing around at the start of this game. Oh, good, good stalls, too. Immediately knowing, hold up, I don't want to come back on the ledge because Jump Steady has a plan for me when I do. Take my time, stall myself a little bit. Yeah, I was talking earlier when Muffin was playing about just how amazingly technical he is and how ridiculous his character knowledge is. And I think that takes him very far. Not so yeah. much just his skill as a player, but I think just his character knowledge is so ridiculously. Oh, yeah, he, he's up. He's a threat. He's always been a threat. I think even in, even in Smash 4, it was kind of like a little... In my opinion, he was kind of hidden. Yeah. But in this game, he's more of a front and center threat. I think he's like one of the leaders of the, of the technologies in the, in the Lucas Discord. Yeah. So he's like one of the... I think he's like the main one, honestly. So he paves the way for it. And then him and Shine go back and forth and exchange notes a lot. So he, he's right. only going to get stronger. I think he's just missing a season. Muffin's help allowing a Lucas to make the PR in SoCal. Yeah. Number one in Taiwan too. Oh my god, you yeah. Look by that extend your hurt box from that down to So we have an extremely close race here to start things <laughs> off. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, did you okay he went for two nares and my man Lucas was too short. Wow. You couldn't miss it. That third hit of down smash man. Yeah, that one was crazy. <laughs> and just like that he's gone. Explosive lane. <laughs> so as, as some people like to call it. The one thing, though, that Jump City is really good at is turning things around with his aerials. The one thing I don't see Jump City do a lot, which is not applicable at this moment because he hasn't had Muffin kind of, like, stuck in shield. Um, he doesn't go for a lot of Tomahawk grabs. That's one thing I don't really see from Jump Oh, City very yeah. interesting, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't go for it a lot. I mean, yeah, he loves hitting those landing aerials on shield, sometimes to his demise when yeah. he gets parried, but... I don't know, I got some pretty far. Back, that back throw gave him stage control. Two forward tilts, but I do like the smash four Are back throw. Okay, opting not to go for the explosive flame. I feel like that would have been a very predictable explosive flame like right there, so props to him. Going for that one, though. <laughs> Muffin says, I'll take the free heals, please. Oh, he was going for the smash four again, man. Roll, yeah. roll back at the ledge. <laughs> get the grab and back throw. You know what's funny about explosive flame, though, is if Lucas heals himself with it, he gets like 3% back or Which something. Which is kind of sad, if you ask me. I don't know, because it, it only absorbs like one hit of the move or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Each hit has individual like percentages, but the full hit, yeah, you only absorb one hit. But at least you don't take the damage from it. That's very true, and that's probably the victory right there. So, we're seeing Jump Steady at a, a little bit of an awkward percentage here if you're Muffin, just because it's kind of hard to figure out what really to go for here that's going to lead into a stock. He's going to need to get a few more good hits, I think. Yeah. Well, that's the problem, too, is like Jump City has a toolkit that's designed like we did see Muffin go for a couple of side stalls at the ledge to kind of avoid getting clipped from the ledge or giving Jump City what he was looking for. And it was a good attempt at the dash dance there and coming in with a dash tag yeah. to get super armor, but unfortunately Muffin kind of caught on to that and got a back throw. I, I love when Muffin shows off with those DJC Zares. He's so ridiculously <laughs> good at those. Yeah, he is. He's been, he always practicing, dude. Yeah. Always. Even between stocks. Oh. oh, my God. Wow. You paid the price for teching in place and you should have teched all the way. That was a good tech chase from Jump Steady. I don't know, man. He could have got him back here. That's just the... That, see, that's what I'm telling you. Well, when you apply shampoo and that's all you see and then your opponent applies conditioner, you're like, hold on. I have been dodging back air. Down throw back air. Because that's usually what's going to be the attempt from Palutena. Down throw raw back air. But when he actually hits you with, with a mix-up like that? Yeah. That's more of... You feel like that's more of your fault. Because like, I should have saw that coming. Exactly. Jump Steady's, that's one of his strongest points, is just his mix-up game. I feel like every kind of Randy Reed like that he goes for will land. He just, like, gets in his opponent's head so yeah. well. And it's that last-minute mix-up game, too. It wasn't even, like, the big mix-up. Yeah. Like, it was just the last minute, like, all right, here's one thing I'm going to change down. Exactly. That was one of the only up smashes he went for all game, I believe. 
Oh man, 59% unanswered. Well, here, here we is. go. There's <laughs> your answer. <laughs> I was like, 59% unanswered. Muffin, do something, please. So Muffin really loves to counterpick the stage, and if I'm going to be honest, I have no idea why. He must know something I don't, because clearly there's a reason. Um, oh, no, he's he not like our, this. Yeah, he got caught. And he got lost in his own sauce. Yeah, he was feeling himself a little too hard right there. Oh, facing the wrong direction from down tilt. Oh, what's he going to Okay. I like it. Uh, the jumps that he's very patient right there. Yeah, and then the only punish jumps that he could have probably went, did go for is for dash time, so. Yeah, and it worked out. Still very high risk, very high, not very little reward, especially on the shield. Good empty hop, and finally gets that forward air in. This is his opportunity to take the stock, and he oh, gets wow, the nice landing. Oh, wow, nice catch. PK Fire pixels away from hitting Jump Steady there. That easily would have taken him off. <laughs> I do like that like, Jump Steady is tossing out back here. It's, it's obviously for the best. Yeah, we'll I get mean, rid of PK Fire, especially from that far. Yeah. And that tried and true setup, he got it last game, and he got it here again. So consistent against a character like Palutena. Oh. Kyle going for the jab. And the last hit of up air going to clip. Man. I don't know, man. Palutena's up air. That's that's a move. It is a move, but I felt that the minute that Muffin tried to really DI away to get towards the ledge, Jumps already kind of caught on. Look look at how he had to go for it. Right? He knows I can't go back to the scene yeah. of the crime. I need to get away and reset at the ledge. But at this point, you're giving Jump City so much control, especially after, after the fear of the Nair and the up air. Yeah. Look, I feel like Muffin is honestly playing kind of... Well, honestly, there's not many things he could do in this situation. Yeah. That up smash hitbox lasting forever and hitting below the ledge. I don't know. Muffin just, like, I don't think there's much that oh. he can do here. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a body bag. Yeah, honestly. This and again, Battlefield, man. This is such a good stage for Palutena. I, I honestly, I would love to talk to him and know why he picks this stage because I just don't see what it has for Lucas. Maybe it's just a comfort pick, but uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. He started off pretty well, honestly, and then just kind of transitioned to like this jump that he was running away clean with him. Yeah. And it's the fact that like, it's a little bit on Muffin's end too. Like some of the execution kind of wasn't on there yet, but I mean, he's got one more game. It is winter semi, so we'll see. Hopefully, he can turn things around. Maybe he's got it all figured out now. Maybe the download is complete. I don't see what stage he picked. Was it Smashville? We'll find out very soon, I suppose. Here we go. Jump Steady opting to stick with the Palutena for the whole set. No real surprise there. Yeah, no reason to change. It's been working very well for him. And yeah, we are in Smashville here. This is the pick I would have liked to see last game for Muffin, I think. Just mm -hmm. This stage is layout and its geometry it just benefits lucas so well yeah and it's kind of playing out a little bit better a little bit not too much jump steady still even though he had the a muffin had the lead jump steady's not the control and that's kind of what matters in a game with smash right like you can have the lead but we're, you're winning more when you have control percentages don't really matter that much if you have the stage and the, and the control itself good dash attack and even followed him there almost a tech chaser i would say yep so they're just trading blows right now. This is, I think, how the first two games went as well. But then Jump Steady kind of just ran away with it. Don't throw. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at that tech chase there. Beautiful stuff, but not being able to finish the job. Muffin off stage here. What is he going to do, man? Like, he I, has it, yeah. This has been where he struggled the most, I think. And another one of Jelani Jump Steady's amazing strengths. It's his ledge trapping game with this character. I think just a pa it's a Palutena staple in general. Yeah. One of the best ledge trappers in the game. In my opinion, top 10 for sure. Top 10 best character in the game. Yeah, I would agree with that. I might be biased because I made Yoshi, though, and that's like his worst matchup. But. Forward air. Wow. Nice. I, I have a sweet spot, too. I love that animation of the forward air and how it just pauses when it kicks Palutena square in the face. <laughs> And the, the actual, like, the sounds of the hit, too, as well. Yeah, that's a move right there that, like, you feel that move when it takes you out. Muffin's going to come back. I So the one thing I haven't been seeing him doing is trying to space out Jump Steady. Um, and it's really hard because Palutena, she has the speed to kind of keep up with Lucas. 
But if he's able to space out jump stay a little bit more, I feel like he can apply a little bit of pressure. Yeah. I'm Slowly in game, we gain confidence, and I feel like that's what he's trying to do so far. But he finds himself back into that range. He's got to be careful. You can't just line like that. Especially if your opponent has that, that space that indicates a whip punish. These characters with weird double jumps like that, Lucas and Yoshi, I'm very guilty of this myself. A lot of times we'll try to drift into the opponent with landing aerials like that to start yeah. something. People can just like run behind you and forward smash or whatever. It's just so easy to punish. Jump Steady showing that he was very ready for oh. it. That was definitely like muffin stock there, but immediately just Jump Steady turned it around. One, inter one interaction with the legend, like I said, right? Like he spaced himself enough to that when down, down air was going to hit, like Jump Steady had won the victory. So now we are seeing, yeah, like he's about to get lapped in percent here, and that's not where you want to be when you're down 2-0 in the set. But, I mean, as I was saying, that Muffin managed to get some good damage off right there. But Jump Steady's so patient, shielding the forward smash there. Wow, so holding on to the stock for just a little longer. Let's see if how long he can keep it going. Because, I mean, obviously he need, Muffin needs to take the stock. Otherwise, it's loser's bracket time. And Luther's bracket is not really where you want to be in a tournament where you have some, honestly, Hat just has a lot of sleeper players. So Muffin would do a, himself a favor trying to avoid them. But first he has to get the stock off Jump Steady and it's looking to be a pretty monumental task. Yeah, it's a lot to ask for. Yeah, not even the PK Fire will be able to do it. Jump Steady. Uh understanding here what Muffin wants and just keeping it away from him. Muffin had a cross up, no punish. Yeah, ah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. back here, we'll do it. Jump steady, yeah, I don't know. He just looked really good, man. That's, that's the- it looks like Drake. That's the PR buff right there. The beard, he's yeah. got a beard, he looks like Drake. Yeah, like that. <laughs> he does. Off that. 